So I'm trying to shut the computer down to install the Asus HyperCard. And of course, there's a Windows update. So we're doing that. Okay, so what we've decided is that I'm using an i9-9900K CPU and an Asus Maximus 11 Hero Wi-Fi. And what that really means is that I can't get four NVMEs in this RAID array to activate because of the limits of the PCIe lanes um, on my motherboard and so what I can get is a maximum of three and so we're gonna take this back apart real quick and pull slot two is what my BIOS says that so it says that if I activate the Hyper X16 ASUS card which is what this is then it will use slots one, three, and four with my motherboard when it's installed in the PCIe X16 slot one. So what we're gonna do is pull slot two NVMe out of here and put it all back in and do a boot and make sure that the BIOS can see, still see, three drives and then we're going to raid zero of those and so now we're going to and because there's thermal paste on here it may feel a little bit like it's sticky and, and it does so there it is slots were numbered but maybe underneath the drives but if I remember correctly this is one two three four so we're gonna pull this one and we'll just see and so yeah so this is m.2 oh it says socket 3 okay well it's not that socket this one oh I'm sorry I was reading it wrong so m.2 I know it says socket 3 but dash 2 and that's the one that we're not using so the first one I pulled was the correct one so we'll put that one back in this back in its clamshell for use later. All right. And then we're just gonna put the cover back on and connect it. So properly now it looks like uniform gap between the PCB and the heat sink and I guess what I want to do actually before I reconnect that let's pull this back apart here and the reason is that I want to put that pull down screw back in this blank 
M.2-2 socket slot. Just so that, why not? is good and uh, all the holes line up for the screws so we're just going to reattach the heat sink Okay, so now back into the case it's gonna go and we'll see if we can get three terabyte RAID zero set up and still get my GPU in the, uh, the case on the motherboard. So we'll see, here we go. Now here I'll show you the hypercard's really straightforward. So the hypercard it's going to go just like that. There you go. And then we're done with that. So that part of the install is pretty straightforward, but the dust out of the computer on these gloves. Okay, so the other option is to mount the GPU vertical, but wasn't really wanting to do that. Okay, so what we figured out is that because of the ASUS Maximus 11 Hero Wi-Fi and the i9 K99 or 9900K uh, CPU that I only have enough PCIe lanes to support uh, rating three drives, and we haven't done that yet, but we're fixing to. And before we do that, I just wanted to go back and show you what I can't find that anybody else has done on YouTube, and that's explain the specific UEFI uh, settings that uh, people have used. And so, when I come into my UEFI, this is the first thing that I see. And if I hit the right arrow key, it takes me over to advanced. And then if I go down, let's just go down to onboard device configuration and a couple of things that we want to check. One is my third PCIe X16 slot. I'm using an extra RAID controller that I'm running some drives off of, and I've got the six onboard SATA ports on the motherboard are full, and so that means I need to be running X2 mode because if I turn on X4, then that's gonna shut off uh, ports five and six on the onboard SATA ports, and so I, I do have that set to X2. And then this is where you turn on, so you have to enable the Hyper M.2 X16 card itself, and you do that right here. And then with this BIOS uh, or UEFI, it says that I can run three M.2s inside of this Hyper M.2 X16 V2 card, and those are in slots one, three, and four. So once we've got that enabled, let's go check out some other stuff. Uh, we 
go down to the Intel Rapid Storage technology, then we'll see that I now have three one terabyte drives running off the CPU. So CPU A, four, five, and six. And those are inside of the Hyper M.2x16 card that's in my PCIe X16 slot one with nothing in the PCIe X16 slot two on the motherboard because if I put something in the PCIe X16 slot two, then I can't have three, uh, it won't recognize the three M.2s inside of the Hyper M.2 card. So now let's go up here to create RAID and we haven't done this yet so hopefully this works. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to change the volume um, to be, you know, M.2 says no special characters. We'll see if it takes M.2 or not. Let's just call it hyper M.2 grade zero. And let's just see if it uh, takes that. Looks like it did. Not sure. Oh, tab. Is period a special character? Okay, so it's not going to use that. So. No, Hyper. Yeah, I know it'll use spaces. Into, well, let's just call it hyper rate zero. Hyper rate zero. And then we're going to do a RAID 0. And the disks are going to be this one, this one, and this one. Okay. Stripe size. I don't know. The default 64K. What do you think? It's probably fine. Most of the files are right, pretty big. Um, The chunks of the file. No, I, right, no, I understand. Just, yeah, let's just leave it as the default. And capacity megabytes. So there's my usable three terabytes that's left. So let's create the volume. Okay, so now I've got my hyper RAID 0, RAID 0 stride, 2.7 terabytes, normal. Which really is going to give me a little over 2x of what I was using on uh, for video and photo editing space. So I think let's just exit now and let's save and reset. We're going to go to create and format hard disks and it says that disk 11 needs to be initialized. that for now. Go down here and see what disk 11 is. So disk 11 is the three terabytes almost um, 2.8 of the HyperX card uh, RAID 0 that we created in the BIOS. Initialize it. We'll go with GPT. Okay. 
there it is. We're going to tell it simple volume. We're going to call it G, NTFS. We call it Hyper M2. This is version 6.0.2 x64. We've got it set to five iterations and uh, just the standard stuff. It's on drive G and let's see how it performs. Okay, well that about wraps it up for part two. Stay tuned for part three where we're going to give some feedback on how this particular setup impacts my workflow and uh, also do some testing uh, in addition to the testing we did here. Also test it against some uh, RAID 0 NVMe on PCI uh, EX1 slots on this uh, ASUS uh, Maximus 11 Hero motherboard and see how those two compare, uh, what the cost differences are and what advantages there may be to doing that instead of using all the PCI uh, E lanes on the PCI EX16 slot one slot. So that's it, stay tuned for that. And I'll put a link to the Teaser Tuesday video for January up here. If you haven't already commented on that, uh, go to the link and leave a comment and that will enter you for January's uh, subscriber drawing for a brand new Google Nest Mini. And all you have to do is leave a comment. So take a minute, do that. If you haven't subscribed, do that. If you like it, give it a like. And if you got comments, leave them uh, in the comments section. Okay. That's it, and remember, get up, get out, live a little. See ya.